the Northwestern Railway was experiencing its busiest summer ever. Passengers and cargo were flying to and fro between Sodor and the mainland. The Fat Controller had to send some of his own engines to do work on the other railway. Gordon, Donald, and Douglas often had to make several passenger or freight trips, sometimes even going as far as London. James had volunteered to take one of these trains, but the Fat Controller chose Duck to pull the special train instead. James thought this to be a very poor decision. Honestly now, which sounds better? James complained to the other engines that evening. James at King's Cross Station? Or Duck at King's Cross Station? Hm? A Sodor engine finally makes headlines, and that's what we get? Rubbish! It doesn't make a Sudrian engine sound very respectable, if you ask me. I beg your pardon? I like my nickname, thank you very much, retorted Duck defensively. Duck isn't even my real name. More real name is? Yes, 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 Duck, we all know about your real name. All right then, what is it? Uh, wasn't it something like Montana? Montgomery? Montessa? Mozzarella? Look, 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 I don't know, all right? But just because Gordon's fast doesn't mean we call him Cheetah, and just because Henry Strong doesn't mean we call him Elephant. <laughs> You're darn right you don't, and you won't, chuffed Henry. Thomas and Percy, meanwhile, were finding the big engine's discussion very funny. Do you know what I think your animal name would be, James? Percy asked, sweetly. Ugh, I know I'm gonna regret asking, but what? Skunk! Because whenever someone ticks you off, you always have to go and make a big stink! <laughs> Duck and James refused to talk to one another for the rest of the night. The very next day, Sir Topham Hatt had arranged for James to take an important slow goods up to Vickerstown Station. This made James even more cross, and he was still fuming about Duck's trip to London. Duck at King's Cross indeed! Pa! He huffed. I suppose you can't expect a tank engine to properly represent all of Sodor. Have some self-respect! Attention all station workers, engine number 5 arriving with the local goods on platform 4. Repeat, engine number 5 with the local At last, goods on James and his train four. reached their Thank final you. stop. James was still grumbling when he saw the engine. In the distance, a bright blue engine was rocketing down the tracks with the express. Its streamlined body glistened and gleamed in the glow of the morning sun. James had never seen an engine go so fast. It was unlike anything he had ever seen before. Best of all, at least to James, was the engine's beautiful, bright red driving wheels, pounding the rails furiously as it thundered down the line. I could use some of those. Why don't I get red wheels? With a shriek of its whistle, the train disappeared around the bend and out of sight. Secretly, James was impressed. That night, James told the other engines about what he had seen. Duck was staying on the other railway for work the next day. It was incredible! exclaimed James. It was the fastest engine I've ever seen! It was like a red and blue bullet! It must have been going over 100 miles an hour! Well then, <laughs> that engine must have been me, declared Gordon. Only I could match such incredible speeds and look stylish while doing it. He does have a point, Edward added. Didn't you nearly go 100 miles an hour, Gordon? Wasn't that the time when your dome came loose and- Actually, I lied. I never went 100 miles an hour and we're not going to talk about it. End of discussion. You must have been seeing things, my dear James. It must have been an illusion, a mirage. A mirage of me. I was not seeing things, huffed James, and I'll prove it. James carried on all night long, describing the engine he had seen. None of his friends knew exactly who, or what, he was talking about. What do you think we should call James now? Snickered Thomas to Percy. Ugh, Owlet, mumbled Percy, because he never shuts up while other engines are trying to sleep. <laughs> the next morning, the Fat Controller had another job for James. I need you to help Duck organize trains at Scarborough Station on the mainland, he said. I know that shunting is not your, uh, preferred activity, but with the heavy goods traffic... Yes, sir. Of course, sir. On my way, sir, steamed James, and puffed quickly away without another word. Sir Topham Hatt was speechless. Well, there's something you don't see every day. 
If I hurry to Vickerstown, maybe I can catch that engine I saw yesterday, James thought to himself. But when he reached Vickerstown, it was too late. Wait! Stop! James cried. Who are you? I have to know! But the engine didn't hear James. It was already leaving the station. James knew it was now or never. James tried his best to catch up with the engine, but every time he got close, the mighty engine pulled ahead. By the time he reached Bridlington, the engine was far away, and James was left behind in the dust. James followed the engine all the way to Scarborough, the terminal station at the end of the line. He wasn't a minute too soon, as the passengers were already on board for the return trip. James puffed up alongside, exhausted but excited. Uh, uh Excuse me, uh, hi. Yeah, I'm James. I'm James the Red Engine. James the Splendid Red Engine, as some may know me. Uh, but, 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 uh, I couldn't help but notice how fast and, well, splendid you looked the other day. And, well, I simply have to know your name. The other engines don't believe what I saw. The engine beamed. My name's Mallard, she replied proudly. James spluttered. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. M Mallard? You mean, like, as in, the duck? Mallard chuckled. Well, yes, I suppose so. You mean you've never heard of Mallard? Asked a voice. It was Duck. She broke the record for the world's fastest steam engine a few years ago. Hmm, yes, well, I suppose I did do that, didn't I? Replied Mallard, trying not to smile. But maybe then you've heard of my friends. Golden Eagle? Silver Fox? Seagull? Oh, well, how uncultured of you. You must keep an eye out for them in the future. Anyways, I must be off now. Goodbye. And before James could reply, Mallard vanished in a cloud of smoke. Oh, wait! I was going to ask where you got those red wheels of yours, and if I could maybe... I, I, oh, blast it! I'm surprised to see you here, James, Puff Duck. And so early, too. I thought you hated shunting trucks. Uh, yes. Well, I figured you could use a bit of help, James replied sheepishly. James worked hard in the yard all day. He was impressed with how well Duck handled the trucks and found his way around the station. Once the job was finished, the two engines made their way back to Sodor. James had a lot to think about on the journey home. Duck, meanwhile, followed awkwardly along behind. That night, James had an important message for the other engines. So, uh, attention everyone, uh, if you please. Uh, it, uh, yes, Gordon, you too. I'd like to say that I owe Duck an apology. Today I met the most splendid engine I have ever seen. Other than myself, of course. Her name was Mallard. Oh, yes, of course. You mean you've never heard of Mallard? Asked Gordon. Hmm. How uncultured of you, James. Y yes, Gordon, we've established that. As I was saying, meeting Mallard proved to me that it makes no difference whether an engine's name is King James I of England or if an engine's name is Bob, or Duck, or Toad, or Bear, or even Elephant. Careful, James. We're not picking nicknames tonight. Uh, yes, Henry, but my point is, it doesn't matter what name an engine may have, as long as they can be really useful, which I believe Duck most certainly is. All the engines murmured in agreement. Thomas, however, looked over to Percy. What should James's animal name be now? He whispered, so only Percy could hear. Percy pondered for a minute. Peacock! He finally replied, He's a bit of a bird brain, but praise coming from him is high praise indeed. <laughs> <laughs>